Hey guys, if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for links to some great online retailers. There's also individual links for knives that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Middle Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys, or unpackaging rather. Thank you so much to my generous patrons for supporting me right now. If you'd like to get your hands on some of these cool stickers and some other benefits, there is of course a link down in the description. I've made some changes to Patreon. You might find them interesting. Feel free to check it out. The support would mean the world to me. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get into this. I think I know what this is, but uh, you know, it's like 40% it's like of the time I'm wrong. So, I don't know, but uh, yeah, so I mean, you guys have already seen the thumbnail. I have a feeling there are a lot of people interested to take a look, you know, I guess see me open this up. Well, this is a knife that has definitely been reviewed on the channel before, but it is a special variant. Oh, <laughs> hey MC, enjoy this. Yeah, that's nice. Let me... Let me, let me open this all the way up here. Hang on one second, guys. Enjoy this. Uh, EDC Gear Dad. I believe that that is his Instagram. So give this man a follow. It's because of people like him that I'm able to bring you guys daily knife content. This is a special variant of the Spyderco Shaman. Can we get the exposure to turn up a bit? Yeah, so you guys can see what the heck you're looking at. Uh, so this is in Orange G10 and Rex 45. Let me tell you, guys, uh, EDC Gear Dad is very, very cool. Uh, he's, he was like, hey, do you want to look at this Rex 45 Shaman? Because I had mentioned not having any experience with Rex 45, right? You guys know how I do my reviews on the channel. Uh, if I already have experience with the steel, then I you know, will give my opinions and assumptions based on the geometry, right? If I have no experience with the steel, then I do seek out opportunities to um, you know, use it. And, you know, if somebody's willing to, to let me, um, to let me do that. And this, uh, this gentleman said, yeah, this is going to be a user. So it's new, but go ahead, you know, go ahead and use it. And, uh, yeah, that way you can get a, a feel for Rex 45. Very cool of you. Very, very cool of you to, um, to, uh, let me do that. Um, I'm very excited to, uh, have this guy in the pocket to experience Rex 45. I've heard nothing but good things. Be using it over, uh, uh, well, you guys are seeing this on Monday. I'm actually unboxing this. My time, it's actually Friday. So this will be with me through uh, the 4th of July uh, and all the fireworks, things like that. Um, now, rest assured, guys, I'm not going to be taking this out and trying to hammer it through a plate of steel or anything like that. I don't abuse my knives. I'll use I'll, I'll use this knife for regular knife tasks. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm really excited to, um, to really get a feel for Rex 45. And thank you so much, EDC Gear Dad, for being cool and allowing me to, to uh, really test this out. That's awesome. Nice uh, satin finished blade on this guy. We have this orange G10. It's not quite as, uh, maybe it's the contouring, right? I'm, I'm not really sure what's making it less so like, you know, obnoxious orange. Orange is never my first color, right, for a knife. But this isn't bad. The shade of orange that they're using on this guy isn't bad at all. Uh, no way. So this is cool. Expect to uh, get, I mean, I, I, it's going to be a little bit. Uh, it's going to be a few weeks before you, you guys actually see the review on this guy. But yeah, I'm excited to talk about it. I think, uh, boy, I think that's going to be pretty much it. I will link the Shaman in general down below. Um, I'll also create the link so that if there are alternate variants of this knife available, depending on when you are watching this video, they should populate when you click on that link. So if you're curious... You can check it out right down at the top of the description. I think that's going to be pretty much it today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this short little unboxing. If you did, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.